Hey everybody, it's Michael here with goodyreader.com. Today I'm going to show you an alternative to DDPB, which is a software program that many people have been using to copy bar files or Android converted files to your playbook or Z10. Now, the Goody Reader App Store has a, th a thousand apps. We're keeping them always updated. We have huge threads with over three or four hundred thousand views on our own forum and crackberry recently in the last few days we've received a number of emails from people who have upgraded their blackberry playbook to the new version number it's throwing a lot of side loading off if you're using ddpb here you're often getting 500 unpack errors We've also seen some weird licensing errors and things like that. Um, hundreds of people have been asking us about it. And uh, we think we've developed a solution here. It bypasses the need to use DDPB, which is often what people are using here when they download apps from uh, the Goody Reader App Store. So they're saying a lot of the old apps work, but some of the new apps aren't working. And now we test and verify all the apps. So they work on our end. I mean, we have a few playbooks in the office here, and we test them all. We found a good little plug-in here. It's called Playbook App Manager. And you can simply find it by say going just to the Chrome App Store and you need Google Chrome and this is available in Mac, PC and a lot of things so it's uh, a new web browser it's like Firefox or IE if you used that before so when we Google Playbook I mean nothing's showing up you have to actually click on extensions you click on it you see a number of things here and you click here and it adds it to Chrome now it doesn't appear, you know, when we create a new window, it actually doesn't appear here. There's a different way you have to get to it. It's simply just clicking Customize and Control Google Chrome. So this little option here. I go to Settings, Extensions, and then we see the extension here. If you know an easier way to do this, let us know. You click Options, and then you'll see this. So this is the de developer number of your playbook. It's the same number that would be here when you would hit scan. If you're looking for your uh, number, it's the guy with the Android shirt on your playbook. And you click on that, you get your developer IP. We have numerous videos that teach you how to uh, enter the developer and enable your device into development uh, using your playbook or Z10. So consult those videos because we're not going to show you how to do it here. But suffice to say, you need to know the IP. This IP generally never changes. And your password. So I have my de development ID here. You click save. And then at the bottom here, it says manage your device. Now, this is your own private IP. You're not connecting to anywhere nefarious on the internet. So we're going to proceed anyways. Now, this is basically how it looks. It's very bare bones. How much free space is on your playbook? actually tells you the battery level which is kind of cool and uh, all of the apps so you can even in uninstall like system applications here you don't want to but we do have a game here that we installed with ddpb which was actually this game right here so i can actually use this to uninstall it and it'll uninstall the game right off of it. Now, what I really want to do is I want to install bar files. And you can see here this is a success. I'm going to click on install bar files. And I have two bar files I downloaded here. One's mobile bank and one is the the app we just deleted that we copied over with DDPB. It's this bike racer. So I'm just going to click open. And as soon as you click open, it starts copying over apps. So you can see it's doing its thing here at the top.
Now these are two new games we just did today. And you can see the result was a success. Now it's doing a second app. And once this is done, this will automatically appear on your DDPB. We've tried this with all of the apps that people have been reporting errors on, and it seems to work. So our advice on this post on our website at goodyreader.com, we're going to actually post a link right to this. But if you want to do it yourself, it's just simply looking at Again, looking at the Chrome Web Store, just searching for Playbook, clicking on Extensions, click here, and then you just download it, and it becomes an extension, and remember to find it. This is the way I do it. There could be a simpler way. Just clicking on uh, the little Options menu here, going to Extension, going to Options, doing your Developer IP number. Click Manage Your Device, and you'll be here. So you can see both apps were a success. And again, you could use this to both install and uninstall. So remember, you do need bar files. And uh, on our website, again, we have about a 1,000 of them. So you can see the new apps that we just added within about the last few days here. One of the popular games here is Death Racing, I think close to 20,000 downloads. Just simply click here, download the bar file to your PC, and then you could use this program to facilitate it. So because people have been reporting a number of strange errors using DDPB, my recommendation is to use this Chrome extension is actually a little bit easier, but you know it requires a few more hoops having to enter you know sub menus and things like that. So my name is Michael goodyreader.com. If you have any questions on this video, please reply into the comments, and we'll do our best to answer every single one. And hopefully, this solves the DDPB 